Good day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of directly dividing polynomials. Uh, and so it's a really, really great way of dividing polynomials. Uh, in the previous video, and most videos you'll ever see, what you'll uh, see is a way of doing long division of polynomials. But this is a way of a shortcut, okay? This will save you lots and lots of work. Um, so first off, I'm going to write down the type of polynomial we'll be looking at with this. So say we had, in the last uh, video, by the way, we had this example here where we went x take away 3, and this was being divided into x squared plus 3x take away 18. Okay, so the way that we directly divide our polynomials is as follows. Our binomial here into our polynomial is as follows. It's really, really simple little trick here too. It starts out the same way, where we look at this number here and we basically say this number goes into this number how many times? Okay, so x squared divided by x is x. Okay, now look, we're started on our way to getting our answer here. There's nothing we're going to write down here at all. You're going to see this is going to stay fairly clean. So what we do now to get our second term is we don't write anything down here. We don't multiply anything out. What we do is we actually look at this minus 3 here, this negative 3, and we put the inverse to that up here. So the inverse of the opposite of minus 3 is positive 3. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get this positive 3, we're going to multiply it by our previous answer, and we're going to add it to this answer here. Okay, and then you'll see what we do with our answer. It's, it's, it's a fairly, fairly uh, common sense sort of thing. So positive 3 times x is 3x, plus 3x is 6x. Okay, so I'm going to put the 6 down here. But what you're going to see is we've already got our x here, so we're actually going to divide, we're actually not going to put that x down here. We're going to um, just forget about it for the minute because we've got an x here. So the next answer is going to be without an x or x to the power of 0. So this just becomes positive 6. And that is our answer. Okay, wait a second, you say, surely that can't be it. It is. Wait a second, I think you probably need to go through another one of these to see how simple this actually is. So, I'll write the next question down. So, say we have this one. And this will take a little bit of getting used to. So, don't just look at that last one and say, oh, I don't get that at all. I'm never going to be able to do this. So, we're going to divide x minus 5 here into x4, x uh, to the power of 4, take away x to the power of 3, uh, minus 21x squared, uh, what about we do, plus 11x, and we will go plus, oh, take away 32, okay. Okay, now what we're going to do with this is we're going to get this equation and we're going to directly divide it. So first off, I'm just going to move it across so it's a bit more centre. There we go. And we're going to divide this directly. So we're not going to get any of this working out down here. So first off, we look at our terms here and we say x goes into x to the power of 4 how many times? It goes in x to the 3 times. So our next answer is going to be an x squared answer. The next one's going to be an x to the power of 1 answer. The next hour power is going to have no x, and then this will just be our remainder part down here. Okay, do you get that? So, first off, we look at this to get our next part. We look at the inverse of this minus 5, which is positive 5. So, positive 5, we multiplied it by this number here, and we added it to the next term. Okay, so positive 5 times x cubed is positive 5x cubed, and we're going to add it to this number here, which is minus x cubed, so we're going to end up with 4x. We're not going to put down 4x cubed, we go the next power down, which is squared. Okay? So that's a positive. Okay, so to get the next part of our answer, you're going to see it's going to be not an x squared, it's going to be an x, okay? x to the power of 1. So positive 5 times 4x squared is 20x squared minus 21x squared is minus x, okay, minus 1x, but not uh, squared, it's just going to be the power of uh, itself, uh, power of 1. Okay, so we get to the next part of our answer, 5 
times minus x is minus 5x plus 11x is positive 6. Okay, not positive 6x, because 5 times minus x is minus 5x plus 11x is positive 6x. We're not going to put that 6 down here. We're not going to put that x down here. We're just going to put the 6 down there. Okay, you're pretty good with this. So then we have, now have a look at what we have left. So the way we do this is as follows. We go 5 times 6, which is 30, and we're going to add this to this. So 30 plus minus 32 is minus 2. So we have a remainder of minus 2. Isn't that fairly good, the easiest way of doing this? Rather than having all this working out, which you would have seen on this other video I made or other people's videos, this is a direct way of doing this, and it works. Okay, so what about we have a look at another example here. How does that sound? Uh, so, okay, we will do one which is... Oh, let's, let's do it equally as big. So I'll get rid of all these. And we will work this one out. Okay, so what about we do x plus 2, and we're going to divide that into 2x to the 5... Uh, plus 6x to the 4. Now this one is going to be utterly enormous, isn't it? Plus 7x to the 3. Plus x squared. Uh, minus 13x. And minus 16. Look at that. I, I run out of line there. <laughs> Better extend that. So let's directly divide this in now. So first off, what we do is we look how many times does x go into 2x to the 5? And you're going to see that it goes in 2x to the power of 4. And that's our first term. So the next one's going to be an x to the power of 3, an x to the power of 2, an x to the power of 1, and an x, uh, just uh, a, a normal term. So our inverse of positive 2 is negative 2. So minus 2 times 2x to the 4 is minus 4x to the 4. And we're going to add that to 6x to the 4, so we're going to get 2x to the 4, but it's not going to be 2 x positive 2x to the 4. We go down the power, so it's going to be 2x to the power of 3. Okay, so we get the next term. We're going to go minus 2 times positive 2, which is minus 4x to the power of 3. And we're going to add this to 7x to the power of 3. So minus 4 plus 7 is positive 3 x to the power not a 3 though we're going to put it down to the power down so x squared okay next we're going to go minus 2 times 3 x squared which is going to be minus 6 x squared plus x squared is going to be minus 5 x squared because minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5 okay so minus 5 not x squared it's just going to be x okay minus 2 times minus 5 is uh, minus 2 times minus 5x, sorry, is uh, minus 10, is, is positive 10x. So positive 10x plus 13x is minus 3, because we're going to go the next power down, okay? So we're not going to have any x there at all. What's our remainder going to be? Well, it's going to be minus 2 times minus 3, which is 6 plus 16. So our remainder is 10. How cool is that, right? That is a really, really fast way of doing it. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you what to do when uh, we deal, let's say I put a 2 here, okay? Because there's a slight little trick that we have to do. I hope to see you then.